So now that we've left the city and moved into the country, it's time that we embark on a new journey. We're gonna do some house projects, and in this video, I'm gonna take you to this vintage showroom. Come on, Georgie, go outside, come on. Come outside. He'd like to stay in the comfort of the warm home, but I wanna transition him to an outside pig, and it's kind of chilly. Once it gets warmer, it'll be so much easier. Come on, Georgie, come outside. <laughs> he wants food. He's like a bottomless pit when it comes to eating. You come outside, Georgie. You stay out here for a minute. Stay in the sun. So I'm like, is it too much to ask? I just want to drink my coffee while it's still warm in the morning and I can't because I'm like struggling and juggling with kids and responsibilities and driving my son to college. He's doing great, by the way, who struggled a lot in um, San Francisco. I actually saved his life three times. I had to like resuscitate him back to life we all know why i had to do that but um we should be able to put two and two together but he's doing great now um yeah so there's been so many blessings with the move but anyhow in the morning i'm, I'm alone tuesdays through thursdays because my husband's in the city still um i still have to do everything so my coffee always gets cold so i reheated it while my little three-year-old's at preschool but we're gonna just finish the painting because while it looks great, there's still some areas of, and meanwhile, I'm also trying to do all kinds of work, a laptop. It looks good, but there's areas where I feel like, like right here, you can't really tell, but like right there, it needs a little bit of um, brushing. 250 each, these, when I get them at Walmart. But I just wanna have like a, a finished, I mean, this is gonna dry really quickly. It's pretty much done. But um, one thing we can do getting ideas is we can look through this Cherish magazine. I love Cherish, but of course, a lot of things are out of my budget. But you can get inspiration and then like do a Google Lens search and see if any of the products match what you're looking for. So spring is coming, so I'm definitely feeling like I want some more bright colors. Um, nice wallpaper, but a little too white. I mean, now this is beautiful with all the blossoms and blooms outside. I have a chair similar to that already, but let's see if there's any good ideas. Little luxuries. Okay, so a lot of this type of molding is coming back. I was just trying to get rid of all the molding and now it's all coming back, but you like what you like. I like this light. This little chinoiserie um, hutch, they have that at the antique store in my house, but it's like 3,000. Now this is what I want in my bedroom. This exactly, this is what I want. Look at that. They got the four poster bed and they put the, um, I feel like this is from a show that I watched already. A girl shared her home. It wasn't Architectural Digest, something like that. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. So yeah, it's nice to just look at these and see what the rich people are doing. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna keep this inspiration for my bedroom and we're gonna get back to organizing. So the now I'm just taking white, white paint. And you see the areas where I made a mistake on the ceiling? I just have to fix it, which is a pain in the butt, but I don't wanna have to look at the mistakes every time I walk under the threshold. And I am the type to do that like constantly obsess over something that's not looking right. I do that with myself a lot and some things are just out of your control, you know? Like for example, with my hair loss, there's only so much I can do. So I obsess over other things like 
having good skin, um, cute figure, plump lips, whatever. You know, sometimes you gotta focus on things that make you proud versus obsessing over things that make you insecure. Anyhow, I don't know. So far, I'm feeling like there's all these different colors, but does it go? Do you guys think that my house is blending well? Because we have Downy, we have Reliable, we have Eider White, we have Downy in there. I'm thinking of painting this living room Downy. Then I can say the downstairs is Downy and the upstairs is Eider White. I think I'm gonna do that. The only thing that bothers me about Eider White, it's such a like a overcast color. That's exactly how I can describe it. It's like a cool grayish white. So you see how when you look by the door, it's like dark. See, the reliable white's way too peach. I want to change this whole living room. But downy is a little yellowish. But the eider white is just so gray. I don't know. I think I can live with the eider white. But definitely, I'm going to change this reliable white to downy. did a treatment where I um, did like an aged look on these, but hold on. You gotta turn it down a little bit. So I got this from the bathroom. I don't know why I like to save these tags and stuff. It reminds me kind of of my scrapbooking days, but I pulled this from the bathroom. It's a little bit chipped. I can always get some rub and buff. But I'm thinking it might add a little je ne sais quoi to the modernness over there. We'll check it out. So that piece from the bathroom wasn't really working out. So I decided to take this one. Remember, we framed it in a previous video. Um, and I decided to put it here. Oh, I just love it. I got it at an auction. I forget who the artist is. It just, oh, I love it. I love it with the, I mean, it gives warmth. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I think the changing the paint color gave this space so much more warmth. And different, throughout different times of the day, it has a different color. Like right now it looks kind of muddy, like I want it to, but sometimes it looks a little yellow, but it, it's still warm where versus over there, it's just too cool. So I did a sample by the fireplace right there on the left. And so I think instead of using Downy in this room, oh my God, I can never make up my mind. This will be the third time I painted this room, but I think instead of using Downy, I'm gonna use the color Futon, which is similar to Downy. It just has a little more muddiness, which I like, because in here it's just too pink. I know you can't really tell, but certain times of the day, it just looks too peach. And it brings out the peachiness in the fireplace. I don't like it. I think if I paint it like a nice, more neutral color, the fireplace will grow on me a little bit more. So anyways, thanks for kicking it with me as I painted this dining room uh, for the third time. But yes, definitely love the art. And I wanna show you a couple Amazon finds I purchased as well, so hold on. Okay, so the first items I wanna show you from Amazon are these cups. Um, they're just so cute, you guys. Now, I have had cups like these before and they've broken, of course. So these are like super delicate. So if you're doing like a load of dishes, do these, put them away separately, and then continue because they're like fragile, but I just love how they look with coffee in it. Let me show you. I know you guys have all seen it before. Like, who wouldn't want to drink their coffee like that, right? Okay, so that's the first item. And then my kids, they got me this, and they, you know, because I have a little pig, and they get upset. I've got paint all over. Oh, my gosh. But they get upset when I don't use this. But it's just, like, a little small. But the next items I got, you know, I'm in the process of refinishing my kitchen cabinets myself. 
It's a slow process. <clears throat> I've made some mistakes. Um, I learned is instead of gluing these pieces like this, what I need to do is make a little groove and then click it in on the sides. So I have to redo that, reconceptualize this design, but I'm in the process of going from tacky painted white to a more warm wood, but that it's taking a while. My last little items are these cute little dish towels. So cute. Um, I can link them below if you like, but they're just like aesthetic. Pretty cool. This is? Yeah. Okay. It's bigger than I thought. But I like that little couch situation. I love this table. This is nice. You need something new for uh, Castro Valley. Okay. Little set, twenty-five dollars. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these. What's up there? Oh, let's look up there. Well, look at that couch over there, Steve. You're from the Bay, right? No fair. We're gonna see if they have any. I want to ask you guys a question. When we first bought this house, the, all the walls were that dark gray color, which I didn't really like, but I liked the bones of the house. But what kind of style is this house? Is it modern, uh, Mediterranean? What kind of style? Because I'm trying to really hone in on it. So if you have any ideas, leave a comment below and help me decide which direction to lean into in terms of decor. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. And I can't wait to show you the item that I bought from Reclaimed Mountain Goods.